Greetings, YouTube. I have never been more frustrated in my life as a YouTuber than I have been this morning. My internet has crashed not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five times in an hour. And YouTube also seems to be having problems uploading videos. I have a video that I uploaded at 11.30 a.m. This is two hours ago. It's still just in like processing hell. I jumped into the side quest. I did the side quest. I had mixed thoughts on the side quest. Now, I guess the good news is, since it's in processing hell, uh, I've heard from a lot of you who have very strong feelings on the side quest, so we can do a video at some point this afternoon maybe where we talk about the pros and the cons to this month's side quest, particularly after, I want to say objectively, one of the best side quests we've ever seen, especially with that late 10,000 Intel gift from the month of May. So to go from that to June, definitely feels like going from an exciting part of 2020 to back to the hellacious difficulty of 2018 in terms of rewards with maybe some 2020 difficulty thrown in with that final boss and the nodes. So, for now, we have this final boss. Now, I was surprised how well I did against Hitmonkey. Now, obviously Hitmonkey has a PI below 30,000, so that's probably part of it, but Red Hulk did really good. So now we have this final boss fight in the Uncollected. We've got the Power Snack. Every seven seconds, that's buff triggered. The attackers immediately nullify. We got Bane of Dumbala. We have Live Transfer, which is my favorite node in the game because it is typically pro player. So the percentage is actually affected by class relationships. But we're going to start with Red Hulk. We did know from... Uh, our last fight that may or may not ever make it to YouTube, but she has a three hit. She has a three hit uh, heavy. I don't know why I'm just not parrying more. So really, it's just, it just seems to be evade the special one, rinse, and repeat, right? And I say the three hit heavy, and okay, well. <laughs> Thank God for life transfer. See how I should have died, and then life transfer not only got me back, but got me back to, to full health? That's a pro player node, y'all. Kabam, thank you for that. And now we're just gonna... Wow. Maybe the most generous boss fight ever in terms of life transfer. I should have been dead, right? I should have taken the L. And instead, I got the victory. And I took six hits. In no other month that I can remember recently would I have been able to make such a dumb mistake in a fight and been able to uh, survive. So, Life Transfer makes this probably the most generous uncollected boss fight we have seen in a very long time, if maybe ever. But the problem is the side quest, right? The problem is not only the pathetic rewards... But the epic difficulty, I've heard from people today who have said, Prof, I have done the epic difficulty of the side quest all year. This is the first time that I had to go down to Master just to complete something today because I could not take down the boss with the BS nodes and the difficulty. And that's saying something because I have a lot of respect for the people who told me this. Is They're, they're like good fighters who just happen to not have all rank 5, 5 stars or rank 2, 6 stars, right? They've got a lot of rank 4, 5 stars maybe that they do really well with. But uh, at the same time, this month just makes them um, frustrated. And I've also heard from other people who just say flat out, I'm not doing the monthly side quest. It ain't worth it to me. I don't care if there's no energy in this. I'm not going to waste my time. So Kabam has a crisis on their hands. We're trying to make sure this is worth playing for the community. And I hope they figure it out soon. Well, thanks again for watching. I'm so sorry for everybody who kept trying to stay with me today. And it just wouldn't work. Um, I, it's like hosting a party. And then the power goes out five times in an hour. And when the power goes out, you disappear. That's what it feels like to run a YouTube channel and have unreliable internet that you pay hundreds of dollars for. And also, on top of that, just a connection that gives you trust issues. Because every time it starts to feel like it's going to be okay, it crashes. So I'm sorry for everybody who was disappointed that the internet kept crashing. I wish I could tell you I had something to do with it. But uh, I have no control. I just got to reset it and pray. I don't even know if this video is going to make it online anytime soon, but we'll see what happens. Um, really fair boss fight, thanks to Life Transfer, and Red Hulk was the MVP for me for both Hitmonkey and this final boss. What do you know?